Hey, hi, hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. It has officially, let me double check just in case I'm wrong and I need to not, need to restart this video. Yeah, a year ago today, 17th of January, 2019, I reacted to Love Shot by EXO. A whole year, a whole year. I mostly consider my YouTube starting when I started reacting to EXO because it's when I kind of fell in love again and it's when I kind of took off a little bit more or think things started moving and it was because of EXO. I actually started doing BTS reactions before that. November 27th, 2018 is when I actually started YouTube. That was, that was was back in November. <laughs> Things kind of changed as soon as I reacted to EXO and it wasn't that long. It was only not even two months. If you want to get even more technical, you can go back and I think some of these are privated now. I used to make edits of um, like dance practices and things like that. There's an idol edit, there's a blood, sweat and tears edit, there's an airplane part two edit, there's a BTS moments I reference daily like and there's a vlog that I did when the stage with my friends like if you go way back, you can kind you can see them. I think I can't remember if I have them private or not. One whole year, I thought we could just I thought this video could just be like a reflection back on a year because boy have things changed, <laughs> and it's crazy. I I sound like a I sound like an old person when I say this, but like it's crazy how fast a year goes. And the older I get, because I'm ancient and I'm twenty three, years go faster and time fucking flies. A year got away from me so quickly and I don't know what, ha I don't know how that happened, but it did. Oh yeah, because I remember it kind of, as soon as I uploaded EXO, um, you guys came and started supporting me and started being awesome. So the next day I uploaded Monster, so January 18th, and after I edit this, probably the day it goes up because I <laughs> always leave things at the last minute, if you haven't noticed already. Yeah, so I said hello again. Because I used to have I used to have such a shitty mic. Such a shitty mic. We got a new one by the way. And I said hello again. I said I'm getting closer to hundred subs. Drop some questions if you would like some answers. I wanted to do a QA because I wanted to get to know you guys. That seems like a lifetime ago. And the next one was Tempo. Did I hit a hundred then? Did I hit a hundred? I used to thank my friends because they were the ones who also used to watch my <laughs> They used to watch my videos because they still do, but I mean, like, my personal friends would always watch my videos. Special mention to some of my good friends of mine who are extremely supportive of me. This is my tempo reaction. And keep me motivated to their kind words. And I named people. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. I think I must have hit 100. Because I don't think I did anything for 100 subscribers. I. It blew my mind. I know. I remember. I just remember, like, going. I remember it blowing my mind hitting 100 subscribers and I remember just you guys were overwhelmingly supportive and just so nice to me and I used to put in my titles EXO shot love MV reaction slash army BTS reaction because I was only an army and I was not a multi at all I was like hey let's check out EXO because let's see how it goes I I never thought EXO would actually ever like do anything for me. I never thought that. I literally just was like, I was an army for a long, long time? Not a long time actually. Yes, I was an army for a few months and I was like, a lot of my friends are multi. So should I be multi? Should I do that? And I was like, what's, what's like, I wanted to pick something that like, uh, was, was, was big. I wanted to pick another big band because BTS <clears throat> were top is, well, our top, uh, we're top, our top, still top, same as EXO, like that. And they're, they're, well, they were the only thing I knew. So I was like, oh, I'll pick the next best thing, thing, thing. And that was EXO because to me, in my mind, it was like always armies and XOLs fighting because those two are the two top. And I was like, I don't like that. Let's give them a go. Let's check them out. Let's see what they're all about. That, that's why I picked EXO. I think the first time I, I actually watched them perform at something in 2019 because they performed somewhere at 2019. I was watching a live stream for BTS and I'm like, oh, so that's EXO. And they performed The Eve as well. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna rewatch 
my love shot reaction just to see how different it is and I might check out monster in that as well I used to put the Australian flag in the corner as well because I don't know my friend was like put the Aussie in it because Aussie we get to I was like all right sure I don't know why Australians are in that cool why not <laughs> I actually started doing reactions for two two more important two three reasons actually the first reason was I always wanted to do YouTube. I always wanted to get on YouTube and do something. I liked editing. I liked creating. I liked that sort of thing. I picked reactions because I watched react some. I used to watch reactions and things like that. And I was like, eh, they're kind of cool. I didn't realize there was such a niche or there was such a thing on the internet of people reacting to K-pop. I didn't know that when I started. I was just did it because I was like, I love K-pop and I want to share my love. So I was like... Yeah, for a long time I had no friends and I was just into K-pop and I was like, I want to share this. So I was like, let's film my reaction and put it up because don't people do that? So that's why that's why I picked reactions and that's one of the reasons I did it. Another reason was I wait, did I I had three. What was the third one? Okay, the other one the other one was I hated myself so much. I could not stand i i suffered really badly and i talked about this in a few videos before but i suffered quite badly from depersonalization and derealization so i did not like and i could not recognize my face my voice it's a whole thing google it it'll give you a little sorry mike it'll give you a little bit um of information on it yeah but i hated my face i hated my voice i hated everything about my hair i hated it and i wanted to be okay with looking at myself and like you know I, I, like and I realized this when I um people <laughs> when I'm so used to being on camera now and I'm so like fine with the camera and hearing my voice and that sort of thing I sometimes forget that like I was so shy I did not know how to talk to people I did not know how to talk on my feet I talking to a camera was so scary and I'm like I want to be okay with talking and that sort of thing and I was like, and I love K-pop and I want to share that. So I was like, let's put two and two together and I don't know, maybe someone will like it someday. Yeah. And from that, actually, that's how my intro started. And I think you'll see it in love in the, in the love shot reaction. I started a video with, hey, hi, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? That sort of thing. And that's actually started from me being too shy, too shy to actually speak to the camera. So it took me many, many times to get up the courage and say, hey, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Welcome back. <laughs> I, I think pretty sure I used to cut, like I would go, hi, cut, hi, how are you? Cut, that sort of thing. Because I couldn't, there was so, such a long pause of me working up the courage. Um, and then I think then it changed a little bit to me going, just, I was like, just say whatever and use whatever take you want. So I was just like, hey, hi, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? What's up? Hey, what's going on? And I was like, yep, that'll do. And I was just too scared to do anything else. So I, yeah, I was just, I didn't know what to say. And that, and I used to stutter because I was nervous and anxious. So that's how that started. The clap, because I, because I still, I now start every video with a clap and end it with a clap. And I can't remember when I started doing it in videos because I originally didn't start out doing it. I think I was, I was either with my boyfriend at the time and or it was my brother's girlfriend and I remember editing and I always would clap because the people who I don't know I it's a thing you audio clap so you sync your audio with your camera and your in your other audio with a clap because it peaks and it's easy to find that's how I do it anyway I don't know if anyone else does it like that so that's why I did that and then I think that one of them said uh keep the clapping and I was like why and they're like I don't know I kind of like it and I was like okay so I kept the clap in and then I was like oh maybe I'll finish on a clap too because I used to take I used to copy and paste the clap and try and sync up music to it it was just a thing I liked doing so I did it and that's how that started I used to just absolutely hate it hate everything about me and like I couldn't look at my face like I remember there were many times where I would sit and record and then I would go watch back the footage and I'm like I hate this. <laughs> this is this is the worst thing I've ever seen. That was directly right after I would finish filming. And then I was like, oh, okay. And the next day I would look at it, okay, maybe it's not that bad. And I mean, I put it up there anyway. So I was like, kind of like, you know what? If I'm going to do it, I got to do it. <laughs> I was sad. I was, 
I, I look at me, I look at, like, I just, I'm, this, this screenshot, I look, I look back and I'm like, she's so small, she's so young, and it's only been a year. I'm like, she has no idea she is about to get the best thing in her life. She does, she has no idea she's about to get one of the best things in her life to ever happen to her. Falling in love with EXO and having you guys, she doesn't know that. She's hoping for it and kind of and kind of wants it, but never expected anything. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even know the members. I owe a lot to EXO. I don't know if I'm going to watch the whole thing because I don't want to get copyrighted. And I know there's a thousand... Uh, oh, we should watch that too. I did a video for a thousand subscribers too because that... I fucking cried when I hit a thousand subscribers. I remember that. Wow. Oh, okay, we'll watch this. We'll watch Love Shot though because... Uh, I'm, I'm also going to cringe at myself really bad. Oh, look at my background. This is when I used to film in my bedroom. Um, <laughs> I literally only had, I only started just starting collecting things. And I had the BTS uh, pop out from the Tear album. I only had BTS posters. I had a Tata that my boyfriend won for me at that time. And I look, I wrote on the, on the screen here, I wrote on my mirror. Uh, if you can read this, subscribe. Because even now, I'm, I'm going to talk a lot, by the way. This video is just me talking. Even now, I don't like telling people to like, subscribe, that sort of thing. I don't like, I don't care if other YouTubers do it. I just, me personally, I'm like, I don't feel like anyone should have to want to be here. I was like, I'm not going to ask anyone to like, I'm like, if you want to stay, stay. You want to subscribe, subscribe. I used to, that's why I only write it at the end when I say subscribe, right at the end. And I used to, I'm pretty sure if I, I used to write underneath it, if you want to, I don't, I don't ever want to be that person that's like, subscribe for no reason. I'm like, if I'm going to put out content and you're going to like it, I was like, hopefully you want to subscribe. So I'm not going to tell you to. And also likes kind of don't really mean much on YouTube. So, oh my God, let's go. Oh my God, look at me. My hair was so, my hair was like, so right, my hair is naturally at, at the top. It's naturally the color. It's normally is, but it's blonde at the bottom. Wow. It's like light brown blonde. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Guess what? You're That's something stop. Completely stop. I hate it. <laughs> my clap was just me hitting my microphone. My microphone is terrible. Oh my God, it's so terrible. Yeah, I think I was getting a little bit more confident here. Cause if, yeah, I'm just gonna watch it. Welcome, hello, welcome. Guess what? We're doing something completely different today. We Guess what we're gonna do? I'll give you a hint, ready? Today, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Last time we switched it up, we did a try not to laugh challenge. We did a try not to laugh challenge? When, where, what? Huh? We did? Where? Where was that? Did I lie? Or did I just film it and never upload it and forgot to edit it out? No, I did do one. It was a BTS one. That's why it didn't do well. <laughs> I don't know much about EXO. I was shown a dance video a few weeks ago. I didn't mind them. That's right. My friend Alice, she, she showed me the Eve. It was, it was the Eve dance practice. And I didn't, I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. And I remember her saying, one thing and one thing only about it. Baekhyun had such a bad haircut that they would put him in the back for the Eve. And I was like, Okay, but she was such a multi. She was like, yeah, look at this. And I was like, okay, not really knowing much, not really paying attention because I was still an army that was like, I only like BTS. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought that But I listen to their music sometimes. Like I have a few songs of theirs. At the moment, my favorite is Love Shot. I heard the song before. I didn't reel it. I knew the song before I reacted to it. Why did um, I do that? Move tea, no shade. Please be nice to me. I am a BTS fan. I, yeah, I was petrified of hate. <laughs> I, even like my friends and that were Maltes and they, they always talked about XOLs and, or well, XOs fandom because I didn't know their name back then. And ARMYs just hating each other and always fighting. And I'm like, I don't get it. So I was like, I was worried when I, if I do this, I was like, am I going to get hate? And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it with a good message. And it's going to be, ARMY and BTS can be friends. I'm pretty sure I say that. I say that in a video. I can't remember which one it is, but I'm like, I say if, because I knew BTS and EXO were friends. So I'm like, if BTS and EXO can be friends, then we can be friends too. And I meant that as an ARMY being friends with EXOLs, not realizing I would become an EXO stan as well. But 
EXO and BTS are friends. So we can be friends too. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I also did not know how to react to things. My first time seeing Baekhyun. <laughs> I'm not reacting to anything. Not gonna lie. Also, the timing's off. <laughs> it's my first time seeing Chen. This is when I Chen became my bias. Who's that? I yeah. Because he was the first one. That's why people were like, Chen's your bias. He's the first one you actually like noticed and wanted to know about. And I was like, okay. Not realizing how much I would actually love him and all of them. <laughs> Oh, you're the most different looking. What, I said about Kai? Kai is the most different looking. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. That's right, because I remember seeing Kai and I'm like, he is the most interesting looking like idol I've seen. Why did I say idol like that? But I had that, still had that in my head. I'm like, Kai looks like a fuckboy. <laughs> that was me back then. <laughs> Such cool eyes. Oh my god. Schumann's eyes? I still love Schumann's eyes. <laughs> That's the first thing I noticed about Shimin. Oh my god. Why did I used to zoom like that? I don't even know these boys. <laughs> but I'm already so shook. I didn't comment on Chanyeol. Whoa. Oh. Hang on. This is- there's guns, there's money, there's cards. What's going on? I, that's kind of funny. Whoa. What did Hang I say? On. I said there's guns, there's cars, there's money. Because I came from BTS and BTS are like squeaky clean. They like, they just sunshine and lollipops all the time. And then EXO is like, guns, shirtless, Ew, look at my ass. There's, there's guns, there's, there's money, power powers, there's, there's dollar redos, there's broom brooms. <laughs> I think we're in a casino. I think we're at a gas station, a petrol station. Servo is where I'm from. Hey, Servo. Where I'm from? Why did I say it like I was from an exotic island? Hey, Chen. <laughs> I couldn't tell them apart. Can you not? <laughs> Who did I say that to? I wasn't watching. I was looking. I was watching EXO. Can you not? Uh, Kai. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't even know how many there was. This is when you guys were also like, <laughs> I remember the comments going, I'm like, oh, there's eight. And you guys, well, there's actually nine. I was like, well, there's actually 10. And there's actually 12, but there's actually nine. But there's eight here. And I'm like, what? Not realizing the travesty that had happened. <laughs> Was his face blurred? Yeah, I didn't know anything about Korea and things back then. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't comment on Dio. Dio looks so good in this. Comment on Dio, oh my God, me. There's always one with a mushroom haircut. <laughs> That's very true, actually, me. There is always one with a mushroom haircut. Oh, yeah, I called Chanyeol a yellow coconut, I think, in, in the last week. Did I not notice shirtless Chanyeol? Also, I haven't commented on Sehun at all. Who's that? Please tell me who that is, because... Wow. Yeah, uh, I saw him earlier and didn't realise. I thought he was just another person. I also didn't realize Chen was there as well because Chen had different hair when I saw him earlier and I was like, who dat? And why does he have a bowl cut? And I know now I know that Chen has the curse of the bowl cut. People come, people go. Stand his lips though. I commented on Dio's lips. I didn't know that. Dio, you look beautiful. Are you gonna comment on Sehun? I'm also zooming in on my head turning. Why am I zooming in on that? I think because I was like, I was like, oh, I'm reacting. I should, I don't know, everything. It is everything that I do. And I'm like, I don't know. I wanted it to be interesting. I'm so shy about my face too. Because I'm so afraid of making a stupid face. Comment on Sehun. Oh my God, me. I also, I still, am, I still am guilty of this, but I never like to look indirectly into the camera lens. I always looked in the viewfinder because like, 
yeah, that and I was paranoid it was never recording. Um, still am. So still guilty of that sometimes, but I just couldn't, I was so self-conscious. I would just constantly stare at myself. Yeah. I didn't get much of the story. I'm not going to lie. I was too kind of overwhelmed by the visuals. I did really like. In other words, they're hot. <laughs> well, if this does well, if, if, if this, I don't know, maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I won't. Who knows? I probably will. Does another one the next day. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, weird. All right. When did I start to recognize them? Because it only took me like a few weeks to actually really recognize them. Yeah, I think by power I had it down. Power I had it down, I believe. Wait, let's do tempo because lays in it. Ah, uh, me. You have a messy. <laughs> You're messy. Clean. Hello. Welcome back. How are you? Hope you're well. How are you doing? How was your day? You look beautiful. I'm back again, if you didn't know already. Today we are going to be reacting to Tempo by EXO because... I'm not much different, I don't think. I'm a little bit different. I feel like I'm different. I feel like I'm just more comfortable and like more... Like I don't care about like how I look and what I'm sounding like and what I'm doing. When here I would like have a breakdown over like, oh I look weird in this angle, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm like, whatever. Also, shut your fucking cl closet door. People wanted to see me react to it. Oh yeah, I used to put people's names. Oh my god, sorry, I recognize your names. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, oh, oh my god, sorry, I recognize most of your names. That's so wholesome. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why. Yeah, me either. I still do. I still don't know. Yes. Without further ado, we will be getting into the video. Not gonna lie, that was really cringy. My hair was nice. Why did I get rid of that hair? I don't know. I can't believe <laughs> all the memes about Chen's baby going like, like that's it. Say alpha. Say alpha. And it's like I can't believe. And I'm like. <laughs> That's Lei! Did you not recognize Lei? <laughs> I'm so harsh on myself. Can you park off, please? Thank you. I was getting more relaxed, yeah. Is that like a crop top? Yeah, Lei's fashion. I didn't realize then that the Lei would have a severe lack of shirts. But yeah. Lei? I didn't realize back then. I'm just so mad that I fucked that up. I don't know if I'm going to keep that in. Did I keep that in? Come on, comment on Sehun. This is a different feel to the songs I've listened to. I like it. The tempo was different. Who was that? Was that about Sehun or was that about Baekhyun? Because... Who was that? Yeah, it's about Sehun. <laughs> Whoa, contacts though. Appreciate her Neil's beauty. I also never, never realized this, the bed squeaks. That's like the one thing I'm disappointed at myself for is I never realized the bed squeaks. Cause I can hear him now. He looked like he didn't want to be there. <laughs> Very true, little me. <laughs> I'm also not reacting to anything. Flexing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so bad at myself. Okay, anyway, I'm. See, the point, the difference is like, okay, so. Uh, that is how I used to react. And I'm like, why did anyone watch it? Because if I go to my last MV reaction, oh, it would have been Obsession. I'm gonna try my best to not get copyrighted on this one because I got copyrighted. Look, and look at my background. Look how, like, I already am so much more relaxed. Like, my hair is two colors. Uh, I miss the beanie. Let's bring back the beanie. I had a different mic. My background is full of EXO and BTS. No Got7 in there yet. I think I have a photo of Bam Bam somewhere. But, like, just how different I am. I'm fucking... <laughs> Obsession. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel I'm. I just stop laughing at myself. So That's cringy. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay. Fuck. 
Oh my god. You can just tell how different I am. Like, uh, this, I, I went from just, like, being really quiet and, like, commenting on one or two things to when anyone, now anyone breathes in a certain direction, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> because that's how I was in real life. In real life. That's how I was, like, normally. And it just took a long time for me to get comfortable on camera. What I want to watch, though, my 1K video. It only goes for six minutes. Oh my god, me. Oh, look. I remember... Look at this background. I remember moving every no, go away me. I remember moving everything over here. Oh, this is back when I was a sugar bias because I have sugar corner like right here. This is sugar corner because it's all the PCs I had of sugar at the time. <laughs> now it's like quadruple that. And I had just a few XO in here. Today, I'm doing a different kind of video. Oh my so, god, the audio is so low. Questions and I'm gonna answer them. Who is your? Can you tell like how my voice? It's so. Sorry, Mike. My voice is so much like higher as well because I use my customer service voice because I still wasn't comfortable talking in front of a mic. So I'm like, hey, how are you? Yeah, hey, uh, welcome back, guys. Now I'm like, hey, what's up? Hey, girl. Now, no, I'm not keeping, me, don't keep that in. What do I think about EXO? I think... I'm like, I love them. Can you not tell? I, I, well, I, I don't think I loved them back then. I really, really, I was really liking them and I'm like, I'm like, I like, I was like on the road to it. I really don't know. I, this was, I think the first time I actually cried on camera. Now I cry like every second video on camera. <laughs> how or why I managed to get this far. And some of you might think that this is not really far, but for me, it's something I thought would never happen, but is happening. So I, <laughs> I often don't know how to react or what to do or what to say. Also, that's still um, very true. That's very, very true. I still am like, I, yeah, I'll talk about this a little bit more. I'm like, I still am like, I am not worthy of this. I'm like, I am not worthy of, I think we're 7.6 at the moment. Yeah, I'm not worthy of it. And I'm like, why are you guys here? <laughs> um, But yeah, I don't feel good enough to be in the position that I am. And I was like, I'm going to hit 1K. I'm like, <laughs> like, because I hit one, I hit 100. And then I was like, and then I was like, that's 10 times as much as 100. And I was like, I'm not okay. Thank you guys enough for it. Like I oh, read, I read am every I gonna single cry? comment. And I still read every single comment. I interact more on like Instagram and things like that. And on like Discord and on Twitter. Um, I sit and read every single comment still. I upload and I go to sleep and I sit there for the premieres. And I sit there and I like, like and comment a few times. And in the morning I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to read all the comments. And I do. <laughs> everything that's said about me and some of you guys are saying that like you look forward to my videos every day and oh little me is gonna cry internet oh uh, am, am i gonna cry me crying oh i'm such a little bitch oh little me yeah it's just i can't no matter what happens i just can't wait yeah yeah enough of that <laughs> I cried a lot more. I just edited it out. <laughs> oh, I used to, that's when I used to edit like my little favorite things in there. And like, cause like, oh, I chose my advice and sugar is my advice. And I used to edit like on the end. See, look, like, subscribe if you want to. I don't know. I was like, I don't know if you, I was, yeah. Anyway, I, oh, fuck me. Little me had no idea what was coming. Oh, that's when I did, I loved making Beckyun's baking video. I did all the, I did all the guides. Not all of them. I still haven't done the Chinese members. They're coming. Then I celebrated Shuman's birthday because this is when I really started to get to know them and really like them. And I was like, I wanted to try like live streaming. And then I was like, I'm going to live stream for Shuman's birthday. I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Oh, and the fan fiction. I loved reading the same fan fiction. That was so fun. Ah! And then, oh, Beautiful Goodbye was nine months ago. Oh my God. <laughs> time flies. Oh, next time I was Exo is family. Six years with Exo. Cause it was seven years with EXO, and then I the, and then I cried again probably in EXO is family, yeah, part two, when it was the anniversary. And I started reacting to NCT, and I started reacting to Blackpink, and I started reacting to Lay. Oh, and then I did me and Anitra's collaboration. Oh my god! Anitra reached out to me. She told me she was a fan, and I'm like, oh okay, cool. Not realizing she was a YouTuber, and I was like holy shit, I know who you are. And then so we started talking and I was like, bro, we need to be friends. And I was like, so we like chat online and 
we still talk and she's so precious and she was my first YouTube friend. And like, I owe a lot to her. She, oh, she's helped me so much. We've been so cute. Like we did XOL, <laughs> XOL versus ARMY, guess the member challenge. Also we're organizing another collaboration soon. So look out for that. I love I love Anitra so much. Like if you're watching, I love you and I appreciate you. And I cannot wait to see your beautiful face again. I love you. Oh, and then I dyed my hair. It's when I first learned, it's, I, and, I, and I watched Watch Out. Yeah, it's when I was like, because I was last full on like, Chen, this, Chen, that. And I was like, wait, I love them all. <laughs> and I'm like, but I want to marry Chen. That ship has sailed. <laughs> and then I did exit group chat conversations. I loved making that too. I'm going to make another one soon. Who left the butter out? <laughs> I remember coming up with this idea at work and I wrote the whole thing at work. And then I ch ended up changing it a little bit. But yeah, because I saw like a lot of BTS uh, people do this one, do this kind of stuff. And I was like, I want to do the same thing for exit because I love them and I don't have enough editors out there so i was like let's do it what again really <laughs> what's wrong with the bench you mean where it should, should be, be. <laughs> what i did to write it was like and i have another one half written i took like one element of their uh just their personality and i emphasized it so like dio was always like you know kind of you know dio is like the quiet the grumpy one like bleh, people say it's like that when he's really not but i took that and i played on it i took Chen to be very peacemaking and like guys are all here to have a good time. I made Se Sehun because he's the mech name made him like a little shit. So I was like, he just wants to f like like start stuff and there and Baekhyun being such a little like puppy, just being like you know part of the Beagle Line and wanting to tease the members and stuff like that. Like I made him like like he wanted to he was there like start stuff and like stir the pot as well as Sehun. Uh, Suho was always like. Oh, the voice of reason and things like that. Because Ch Chanyol's competitive. So I was like, I want to make Chanyol like kind of like, you know, the whole thing. It's Chan I made the, I made the, into the meme of uh, it's Chanyol's fault. So I pinned everything on Chanyol. Oh, and because Kai's like kind of quiet, I made him just kind of agree with a lot of things. And then every now and then everyone just kind of like hanging shit on each other. And, and I like, I originally wrote it as, uh, uh, without Schumann. And because Schumann was in the military at the time and I and without lay, but I got to it and I was like, I want to add all of them. I want to make it OT9. Oh, yeah, and I went to Seoul with my friends. I moved to Seoul. Yeah, I flew to Seoul. I went to Seoul. I left the airport a few hours as Kai got to the airport in Seoul and I wanted to cry. Um, Yeah, and then I got very sick and went into hospital. Um, and then I came back and then obsession happened <laughs> and you calling my name happened and more super M happened and oh my God, okay, yeah. I could go back and like tell myself like you know look you're gonna get the most supportive the most lovely the most kind-hearted people subscribe to you and you know talk to you and tell you the most beautiful things like oh every now and then like when I was first starting out I'd get this I'd get messages from you guys and I'd get like and you guys just heartfelt just get heartfelt messages from you guys and it always makes me cry and then it always just makes me feel so happiness and I really and I still do I really and I still do like struggle so much with like I don't ever feel worthy enough for your love and support to the point where I'm like there are times when I get these messages and they make me so happy and then they like oh, I don't know what to say back because I'm like you're so sweet you're so lovely you're so why like I, I never I never I never gave myself credit and I still struggle to do it to this day like you guys do so much you guys are so sweet so amazing and you help me you talk to me you are there when I need you you guys like in my discord in my discord you guys are the most oh my god I can't describe to you I love my little discord family my little trash bags i love them so much everyone everyone's in my discord you guys know who you are and you guys talk every day i'm always lurking in the discord by the way <laughs> when i'm feeling down or i come to my discord and i talk to them and you guys are always so great at you know helping me when i'm feeling down and that sort of thing and oh, i can't fuck i told myself i wouldn't cry i told myself i wouldn't cry <laughs> Just one, one whole year. And there's so many of you. Someone will look at this and be like, oh, 7.6 thousand people aren't a lot. People are doing better than you. And I'm like, you know what? I don't fucking care. 
I'm like, I love reacting. I love interacting. I love you guys. <laughs> Fuck. I love your support. I love everything that you do. I just love you guys so fucking much. I can't begin to even fathom and describe what it feels like to have you guys there. And then, oh, fuck me. I mean, no, I mean. And then I got really sick with my mental health and I went to hospital and you guys, I thought, I thought, because I took six weeks off. I think I had six weeks I was in hospital for. And I was so scared because I'm like, fuck, if I don't upload, if I don't do something, if I don't tell them I don't do something, I'm like, you guys, I was worried you guys were going to leave and you didn't leave. <laughs> you guys didn't leave me when I needed it. And I was in hospital, I was often in my Discord. And I was... Uh, I wanted to go live and I wanted to talk to you guys and I was always on my Instagram talking so very worried about me and I was I was worried about you too <laughs> you guys stuck through you guys were there you guys were there to drop it a hat for me what did I say I don't know you guys just I would like uh, it's hard to explain like when you talk about mental health and you go through a really really rough time you're always so scared no matter what you can have the most supportive people around you at, around you at, at all time but you're always so scared that people are gonna just go okay bye like you know, you need them the most and then you guys were just the most amazing thing. There there won't ever be a day and I will not ever be enough and I will never not ever be worthy of your love and support and anything. But you guys, you guys like You guys make you guys you guys make doing YouTube and reacting and loving like so, so much better. You guys make my life so much better. You guys make me laugh every day. You guys make me happy every day. Seeing the views and like, like that and whatever is, and subscribers is whatever. It's the interacting in comments. It's the the talking to you on Instagram. It's the, it's the lives where we get to hang out and talk and chill together. That's the most thing I love the most because it really helps put a sense of identity to you guys and there was one moment <laughs> and I'm gonna and I'll post a photo on Instagram because it was it was a moment that was very very surreal for me and I was in I was in Kuala Lumpur airport with my friends flying to Seoul like on our way to Seoul and one of you guys came up to me recognized me and we had a conversation we had like had a moment and she's like I followed you from the other side of the airport and I wanted to come say hi <laughs> I'm happy like this is happy tears and we talked for a little while and we got a photo and I'm pretty sure there's a video of me just being like, oh my god, <laughs> I was so excited, it was such a moment for me. <laughs> Do I look terrible <laughs> right now? And I, I was gonna post the photo, like, as soon as I, as soon as we took it, as soon as I left, I wanted to post it, but I'm like, no, I want to save this moment. <laughs> it helped that I was with my two best friends as well, because they got to meet her as well, and I don't want to say her name, because I don't want to call her out, and that sort of thing like I was like I want to save this moment and I was like I'm gonna keep this photo for a really important moment and I'm like I'll keep it for my one year because that was such a moment that was that was a such a surreal moment and I was just so over the moon and I'm like I remember when she when she left and my friends were like, holy shit, like that that's like that's amazing. It was such a wholesome moment. I tried so hard not to cry. Like I I didn't cry because like I'm like, I'm in an airport. <laughs> I'm with my two best friends, I can't cry right now. <laughs> like I'm about to get on a flight to Seoul. Like <laughs> Do I look like a fucking mess? Because I feel like I look like a mess. Now you're gonna have to deal with this face, okay. The one the, another thing I wanna mention before I go is it's two more things I want to mention. 
I also wouldn't be here without the support of my friends. I consider you guys my friends as well, but I'm talking about like my personal friends who really supported me just wanting to start to when I would just self doubt, just complete doubt of myself and complete like, you know, I'm in a moment where I'm like, I'm disgusting. Like I, why am I on this? I don't deserve this. Like I'm the most worst human being in the world. These guys are like, they help me. They give me ideas, they support me, they watch, they are the most beautiful people and I owe them so much. Before I go, I'll say one more thing. If I didn't have BTS, if I didn't have EXO, and if you guys have found me from GOT7, from ATs, from uh, Blackpink, from TWICE, from uh, NCT, from Super M, I we would not have met each other and I would not have loved you and I would not have your support if it weren't for these guys. EXO is a big one, but all the other groups as well. If we didn't, if I didn't know them, we would not know each other and we would not, I would not be in the position I am today and that's why I thank them so much and that's why I'll never be able to thank you and repay you in any sort of way. One day, one day, I'll go, uh, maybe one day there'll be a moment where I do something and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is, this is enough. This is, a, this, this, this is something that I can repay you back for. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know. I want to work harder. I want to be a better person for you. I want to be a role model. I want to be just, I just want to help you guys in any way that I can. If that's just sitting down for 10 minutes and me and you hang out, then that's good enough for me because that's sometimes the only thing I need. So I'll do that for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for hanging out. I always chose Lucky because I chose Lucky and Lucky Ones as a fandom name because I feel overwhelmingly lucky to be here, as I say in every video, or in my most recent videos, lucky to be here because not everyone gets this. Not everyone gets to do what I do in small numbers, in big numbers, in anything. Like no one, this is not this is precious and I feel so lucky to have you lucky to be here lucky to have you and I, I will see you next time and hopefully in another year and see where we are thank you guys thank you guys so much